Today in class, we'll be learning about Sokotoa. So first, we're going to start with the sides and labeling them. So as we can see, this is a right triangle. So we are going to label it based on the 62 degree angle. So we're going to start with this one because this one's going to be the most obvious. And that would be your hypotenuse. And then we would start with your opposite, which would be across from your angle and your adjacent. So then next we would start your, basically your solving of the triangle to find the other sides. So we're first going to start with tan because we have the x and the 22.6. So you're going to start by making tan and writing that and then you're going to write your angle next, which would be 62 degrees equals 22.6 and then we would put that over x because it would be opposite over adjacent. So then we would solve it by putting in your calculator. You would make sure that x is on top. So you would want to divide it by doing basically, so this would be, this would come over here and this would end up as 22.6. And then you would erase all of this on this side and this would become x. So then your answer would be x equals 12. Point zero. So that would be your x. So right here, you write x equals 12.0. So then once you know that, it's basically the next one that you would do is sine because you would have opposite over hypotenuse. So you would do sine equals 62. And then you would do equals 22.6 over y, which would be here, because you're trying to find that side. So then after that, <laughs> you would basically do the same thing as we did on tan. So you would remove, basically you could do either two of which ways, basically. So you could times the y on both sides and move it all over. But as a simpler and easier way that I learned is that if you know the y's on the bottom, you can just automatically put the 22.6 over here and that would just equal y. And then basically you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna sine 62 divided by 22.6. And as that, you're gonna get y equals 25.6. So y equals 25.6. And that's how you find your two sides. So using our previous triangle, we are going to find the angle now. So this is what we're trying to find. And we're going to use our two sides, which is going to be opposite, not opposite, sorry, adjacent over hypotenuse, and that's cosine. So you're going to do cosine of uh, the angle equals 22.6 over 25.6. And then you're going to put in your calculator to find the angle. It's going to look like this. You're going to hit cosine. You're going to hit second cosine. And you're going to put in 22.6 divided by 25.6. And your answer is going to be 28.2. And that's your angle. Uh, so this will be our next problem. <laughs> so we'll start with labeling our sides. So it'll be A, H, and O. And then you identify the angle that you'll be using. So the first thing we'll start off with is cosine, which is A and H. So it will be cosine of 28, which is your angle equals 6, which is this side, and then divide that by y. And we already know that it's our y, so we can just divide this by 6 and get rid of that. And then um, the answer for that will be um, 6.8. So y equals 6.8. So then that will be this side. And then we will do our tan. 
So that will be tan 28, which is your angle, equals x divided by 6. And then, so we know that this is 6, so we do 3 times everything by 6. And then our answer will be x equals 3.2. This is the angles to the problem that we had just previously solved. So first, you're going to mark this angle because A is the angle you are trying to find. So then you're going to label your x and your y. From the previous video, your x is 3.2 and your y equals 6.8. So once you have those labeled, then you're going to take 90 plus 28, which equals 118 because you want to find the angles, and then you take 180 minus 118, and that gives you 62, which is your angle A. So you're going to write 62 degrees right here.